welcome to Nevada. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. I am blessed to have the opportunity to be here today with the one and only Kevin Stoll. This is my father. Recently I bought a 2021 Chevy Corvette and because I bought a Corvette, GM contributes to us being able to race here today. I'm super excited because it's not one of those driving experiences where you just get to go race a car for a day on a short track with a test driver right. that tells you you can't go too fast. This is a real experience where today we get to learn how to race a car in class and on course for two days straight. Have you ever done anything like this? Should be fun. I've done the race car experience and like you said, it was fun, it was a little bit of an adrenaline rush, but it's over in a flash and they don't really teach you much about it. They put you in the car with a professional, he tells you what to do and that's it. And just like what my wife says, it's a short lived experience. Mm, I've never had that problem. <laughs> so today's our first day here and we're gonna make a little friendly competition. Friendly? Damn. I don't know, we'll see how competitive it actually gets. Okay. So I would say our egos are s somewhat enlarged Inflated. and we think we're good at just about everything. This is really gonna put it to the test where we get to learn how good we actually are. Right. And then they'll actually teach us how we should be doing things and what we're doing wrong. And I, I can't even explain the feeling I'm gonna have when I beat you. It's gonna be amazing. It's just gonna be amazing. Yeah. All right, enough talking for now. Let's get to class and see what this is all about. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. thousand dollars a pop. I know the millions of dollars in Corvettes here. Look at that. One of every color. Starts at 8 a.m. We're a couple minutes early which is already a good start because when I was in school tardiness was something I was used to. Let's go inside. Class is about to start. As soon as we walked in we were given the wrong wristbands last night, so we were actually in the wrong class, which is on the opposite side of the track. So we're now late. We're late on the first day of class. I mean, awesome start to the day. Late, walking in with cameras. We're gonna make a great first impression. So as we go throughout the day, we sort of assess the drivers and we'll group you in like speeds, let's call it. Some people always ask, oh, am I in the slow group? I'm in the fast group. We kind of <laughs> don't call it that, but that's what it is. And everyone figures it out pretty quickly. But we do assess you guys, and we'll start moving you throughout the group so you're with like speed drivers. So basically what you're saying is Craig will be behind me, <laughs> right? I'm not even going to talk trash. I'm yeah. just going to let the car speak yeah. for itself this time. I brought a little secret weapon. I don't have race car shoes, so I brought my high school wrestling He's shoes. He's already starting with his advantages. <laughs> Mine don't even have laces. What? That might be, in fact, the coolest sound I've ever heard is sequentially starting Corvettes all the way down the track. The cool sound is going to be the radios that they have in the car when Craig says, how come I can't pass my father? challenge was to stop as fast as you can in a straight line. How do you think you did? I think you beat me. I do too. So we'll gather up over here. Careful on your way over. You'll feel this. It's super, super slick. And tomorrow we'll set up an autocross track for you guys. And the flower gets in here in the water. This looks super, super slick. So we'll gather Not up that great. Here. The first one I messed up a little bit. Approaching, he's going to swing into the right or to the left, and that's the lane that you're going to steer into. Okay? Second challenge is right now we have to steer in a direction that they point us in. The object is to stop. I didn't even stop in the first challenge. Let's try it out. <laughs> Be careful, that's good. So they had wet pavement. Um, at first they wanted us to go 35 miles per hour, step on the brakes and stop uh, at a certain time within these cones. That went pretty well and ironically that's one Craig did really well on. So I know he knows he beat me on that one. So far I'm having an absolute blast and I think I'm winning. Every time I see him 
I can't see him. He's too far behind me. So I think I got this in the bag. A few moments later. But I think there's something wrong with my car. Yeah, it's the car, right? <laughs> a bad carpenter always blames his hammer. I saw you hit a cone. It's just a cone. Those could have been people at your race. They were cones. What movie? So go ahead and roll it to your side. Put it right up against the visor and then just flip the visor forward. Now the object is to get as close to the cones, if not knock them over as you can. The problem is we can't Lauren, see can what's in front of us. We can only use the windows on our sides and our peripherals to figure out where we're going. So come on forward. Uh, keeping those eyes up, rolling through. We're not, we're not trying to be fast paced here, but we can just ease off the brakes, wait for that cone to line up over your shoulder, and then start to turn the wheel. Slow it first, and then tightening down to the inside of that number one cone. Picking those eyes up, looking for that green cone on the left. Kevin, come on up. <laughs> That's perfect, Kevin. Nicely done. Getting around that cone. This is a slow exercise. I want you guys to really focus on the technique aspect of it. Get nice and tight to that cone. Coming to me, but then start looking left. Start scanning to the you left. Know, I don't know if I've gotten my redemption, redemption yet. I think I have, but not quite to Craig's standard. Um, basically, we had a, a slow course around some cones. We're basically blindfolded, they, so we couldn't see straight ahead. I did very, very well on that. The uh, instructor actually even said... Nice job, Kevin. You can join at the back of the line. Really well done. I think Craig and I both are really looking forward to this next course we're going to do. Um, we're going to do a figure eight. We're going to use counter steer and over steer, under steer. Get the Corvette to slide out in the rear end. Oh, yeah. He's eavesdropping. Are you talking about how I'm winning? He's eavesdropping on my private <laughs> interview. See, this is what I have to deal with. You know, I've been thinking about a few different wages. I don't know. Maybe you guys could let us know. I, I thought about maybe, I know how much he loves his hair, so I was thinking about the loser shaves their head, but that's pretty extreme. Uh, I don't know if he'd go for that. Um, and uh, on the same token though, I would love to see him have to shave his head. Doing the clipping points with the sunshade was really difficult, but after, if you just listen to what they're saying, I got a hang of it pretty well. So I think I have it in the bag. I don't know how goofy I look in this gear. Get up, but at least I'm safe. And I think I got this. Now, we get to go do some donuts, which is my forte. I'm really good at doing donuts and figure eights. I'm planning on hammering down, and I hope I can just rip through an entire figure eight with some smoke on my tires. Let's go over there. This side here is super slick. Is that gonna be your excuse? No, 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 no. But it's very, very slippery. It's. Um... With the amount of power the car has, you touch the throttle, and it, it definitely around. spins out. Spins I was around. able to save it once or twice, but I lost it probably once or twice easily. Plus, you know, I didn't want to take my foot right off the gas, because he said to me, take your foot off the gas. <laughs> Not as good as I had hoped. I gotta give you credit. I think so far you're way, way, way ahead of me, but it's only day one. <clears throat> I thought I was much better. And you might wanna change the stakes after today. But now we do the ride along, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, so now we get to go on the course and see what a professional can actually do with that car. Nice and tight on the apex. 
for day one. How do you feel like you're doing? Not good. I think I'm getting moved to the slow class. <laughs> I actually feel pretty good. Yeah. I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm better than I really am, though. No, I think you did pretty well. I do. Um, it was This was an enlightening experience, uh, but I think we both can do a lot better. It was going to be a good day. I, the, my favorite part of the day so far was the ride-along because the instructor got to show me what I was doing wrong, how to correct it. It was so helpful, and I think it's going to change my game tomorrow. That was actually a good point. You got the, Your ride-along was with our instructor, right? Yeah. So that's awesome for you because he got to you know, kind of coach you through it. Are you telling me I had so, an advantage again? <laughs> I had the dry track, I had the coach in my car. I think my car was My broken. car was too hot. Yeah. What excuses yeah. more do you need? I don't know, my sneaker slipped off, I don't have race shoes on. I don't have wrestling shoes, yeah. I don't, my feet don't fit into my uh, wrestling shoes anymore. No, no excuses, Craig actually did extremely well today. Um, I was a little disappointed, I think, but hopefully tomorrow I can redeem myself. That's it for day one, I'm looking forward to day two, because that's the real fun, tomorrow's autocross. Tomorrow is on track with some real driving. Yep. And then tomorrow is the winner. Welcome to day two at Ron Fellows Driving School and a friendly competition between my father and myself. So today's gonna be fun because it's the last day we get to really get on these cars. Yesterday was kind of a training day. Today's like, we're really racing today. today we go cross, we're gonna do yeah. some track racing. We're gonna get fast. Like I think I'm gonna try to hit 120 on that straight away. Yeah, I guess fear is that you're gonna be in the fast group. I'm gonna be in the slow old person's group. Fun thing is we now have some steaks, literally steaks. We're going yeah. out for dinner. So the winner gets dinner and a show purchased by the loser. Correct. I don't like the way you just make the <laughs> assumption and use your hands to direct it towards me. We After this, we're going to Las Vegas. We are. Should you tell them what time. you did to me? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to do an all-nighter tonight. I, I didn't book a hotel room. We're going to have a great time, and I'm going to see if you got it in you to stay all night and have a great time, and then we're just going to hop on our plane and go home tomorrow. I can tell you right now, this is scarier than going 150 miles an hour on a racetrack. I don't think I can do an all-nighter in Vegas. Now, there might be a chance that we're sleeping in our car tonight. Awesome. But I'm okay with that. Lucky with I mean, close. that's how my third child was conceived, so. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna start by saying, Nevada is far colder than I thought. Yes, I'm wearing a t-shirt, but I am absolutely freezing. I mean, check it out. I'm really gonna push it a little bit harder today. I'm looking forward to that. Honestly, I think I have this competition in the bag. I, I thought my father was gonna be a little bit more daring, but maybe, I think he's throttling back a little bit. Maybe, I don't know if he's, letting up on the reins to pass the torch to me or what, but I thought he was gonna push a little bit harder than I see him doing. I think when we get in these cars, we know what they are, but when you're going 80 or 90 miles an hour around a hairpin corner, you start to think, oh, are the tire's gonna slide, is the car gonna move, am I gonna be the guy who goes off the track into the dirt? Honestly, my dad had me at a really young age. He was a kid when he had me, so to me, my dad's always been Superman. And he, I know he has it in him. The skills I have, I learned from that guy. So if he pushes hard enough, he can absolutely take this. Today, the big thing, I think, is going to be the autocross. Um. So we are in two different groups, my father and I. I'm not quite sure who's the fastest group because they don't label it like fastest, medium, slow. We are in two different groups. I get to learn how to do autocross this morning. He's doing a lead follow back on the track. And I'm going to go learn how to do some autocross. So your uh, PDR should be running. When you're ready to take off, feel free. I'll start the timer as soon as you start rolling. Nice full stop here, Craig. All right, perfect job. Autocross. I liked it. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. And I love that they said, this isn't your car, these aren't your tires, do the best you can, rev it, 
hit things, you're not going to ruin the car. To me. Oh, really? No. Said to me, all right, this is just a warm up. It doesn't count. Just go slow, learn the course. So I was first to go. I went through the course and I took my time. I put it around. Second, third, fourth, fifth guy, they they hit it hard. That's too bad. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. I just didn't race. So after that, I hit it. And what I did do is they didn't teach us launch control yet. They taught you a group. So I taught you. So what I did is Craig mentioned to me, hey, yeah. have you used launch control? I said, no. So I got up there. I mashed the brake. I mashed the gas. And instructor said all right Kev I know you figured it out you might as well go with it now yeah. so then the other guy started doing it but after that I got I think a 33.41 so that 33 would have been faster than anyone else in my group so if you were in my group you would have come in so second place. the old man so uh, among old men I'm doing pretty good Today, I really, I was hitting it harder, but we were the first ones out. The track was cold, the tires were cold. I got up to about 118, 120 in the straightaway, which for me was the best. That's fast, yeah. Um, and I could feel it. It was awesome. I got a rush. But what I did do is they call it the bowl, you know, that turn down yeah. in the bowl. I got in there and I just missed the apex by a hair. So I cut the wheel a little bit hard, a little too aggressive. My back wheels hopped and skidded out and it woke me up. Oh, really? It scared me, yeah. So that happened to me on turn 10. The last turn, it was the instructor and I, so lead follow, everyone else was way back, yeah. and the instructor said, Craig, we're going to push it a little harder because you're right on me, which was pretty flattering. That is good, yeah. Pretty flattering. That is good. We were hammering. So around turn 10, the last turn, I hammered, but I turned too early and then accelerated too early, Yeah. and I fishtailed one way, fishtailed the other, and the instructor saw it, and he yelled, break, 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 but I had already I had hit the break, corrected, and came to a stop, yeah. so he actually thanked me, and he said, thank you very much. That could have got me in a lot of trouble. Yeah. The real competition starts after lunch. I know. It's only going to get better. I hope. Or we crash. But either way, it's fun. I, these aren't your cars. Hammer them. Abuse them. Get to know these cars as much as you can. And to be honest with you, I think I'm on to your whole scheme. I Which think is? you. I think it was like... The, oh, I'm gonna take it easy. Oh, I, I don't feel comfortable in it. Oh, I didn't know about the heater. I think that's like with age comes wisdom and I'm being played. And then when the competition comes, all of a sudden this firecracker pops out. I hope it's true and I don't even know it, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I, hey, good luck. Um, so far, so good. I mean, uh, I got to review my SD card uh, with one of the instructors. He did point out some things I need work on. Uh, he said, you're at 96% th throttle. He goes, if you're going to go to 96, you might as well go to 100, which I have some good news. I've been upgraded to the fast class. I didn't know what class I was in, but they did change my name. They wiped it out, moved it up one more. That's the fast class. So I don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep, beep. So now things are getting a little bit more competitive because apparently I'm in the elite group. They're the, the studs of the school. I don't know what group my father's in, but he's using his age as an excuse. That's not but, just tooting the horn. That's hey, laying on the horn. This is my time to talk, all right? I gave you your time. I have some good news. I've been upgraded to the fast class. I didn't know what class I was in, but they did change my name. They wiped it out, moved it up one more. That's the fast class. So I don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep, beep. So now things are getting a little bit more competitive because apparently I'm in the elite group. They're the, the studs of the school. I don't know what group my father's in, but he's using his age as an excuse. That's not but, just tooting the horn. That's hey, laying on the horn. This is my time to talk, all right? I gave you your time. Few moments later. I'm going to change the wager. 
<laughs> no, I that's all right. Wager. I'm going to lose with dignity. I just think if I'm I trying lose, to be fair. Because I'm going to loosen the wager up a little bit and see if you're in agreement. Okay? I think instead of like who's the winner of all of it, which I still want to do, if you beat me in anything, I'm going to change the stakes. And any single one of them, I'll get the hotel. We'll get like a casino resort. I don't, and you, I get all three. Like it's across the board. I just flat out crush you and everything. This is you painful. You have to pull it all night. Painful, painful, painful. All right, it's a deal. Deal? Nice. Yes. I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> it's not good. It hasn't been good. It's been a blast, and I'm glad Craig and I have this time together. It's really, a father couldn't ask for more. It's been amazing. Um, I just have to accept the fact that he has surpassed me in everything, and it's not easy for a dad to do. Um, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret, too. Weeks and weeks ago, I booked a room in Vegas for my father and I to stay. He doesn't know that. In some conversations during dinner last night, I talked about how my brother and I had an all-nighter last time we were in Vegas, and he's like, oh, geez, I couldn't do that. I'm like, well, that's the, the plan for tomorrow. I didn't book a hotel. So he got all stressed out. It actually ruined his dinner. He couldn't stop talking about it. So I went with it just for a little bit of fun. He doesn't know I actually booked a room. So to be honest with you, I don't think he's in the right frame of mind. I think me playing mind games might actually have an advantage for me winning. <laughs> and away we go. Set, go. 3.7. Ah, no, it was 3 .1. not 3.1. I swear to God, it's on my recorder. Maybe I was 2.7 then. No. There's no, no way you were 3.1. was my quickest. All right, I then I was 2.7. Shut up. There's I can't no lie. way I was half a second behind I was 3.5 was my first, 3.7 was my second, and 3.1 was my last. We're going to have to check tape. Check, check tape? Why would I lie? I've been saying I lost every competition yeah. to this point. I couldn't have gone any faster 0-60. I don't know what I could 3. have done. 3.1. I was going to ask what the fastest 0-60 time was. I'm going to have to verify that. I'll ask this guy right here. Okay. I'm telling you. If I had my recorders on, it's all recorded so I can prove it. Yeah, the white card should be on there. I just confirmed on mine, I was 3-7. All right. So if you're 3-1. 3-5, 3-7, three, and then 3-1. I've lost every competition and he won't give, give me the one that I got. I'm telling you, I wanted to take my phone out and take a picture of it. That's all I see. Three point two. Yeah, Three point so, two zero. Oh. Yep. So, and just so you know, uh, the car might have said three point one. They run off two separate sensors. Yeah. So, yeah, could have been right there. Two zero. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've let myself down on every competition so far, so that's, yeah. a, that's, that's my one That's the best time I've seen in a long time. He's out here killing it. He's really showing these uh, Corvette guys what it's uh, that launch control is all about here. Good job, Kevin. Thank you. It's an honor to be in your presence. With that. <laughs> 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 had to take it to the next level, right? Fair win. Thank my you. My fastest Finally. time was 3 seven. Congrats. Congrats. All I wanted as a father was one win. That was it. I don't know what I could have done to go faster than that. I was even on it. Maybe my car had more gas than you. I think what you could have done to be a little faster is just be more like your father. Yeah, that's always been the trick. <laughs> Follow me on up. And we are coming here. And we're off. To the apex, and we're going.
How do you think you did on autopilot? I think I did pretty well, actually. I, you know, in my last couple laps, I was really impressed. I just, I don't know, I got past this fear and I got into my comfort zone. The last couple laps, I think, might have been my strongest. So we'll do uh, red group and then green group. All right, so with red group in third place with a 30 point, two, two, right? Moving along pretty good. Uh, let's hear it for Kevin S. Uh, for the blue group, in first place with a 28.3 wow. Let's hear it for Craig! Great job, Craig! That's the one thing I think I could have won. I should have pushed it harder. You were so confident in autocross that I was actually nervous. You know what? This is the problem with me. And I'll tell you, honestly, I didn't realize it until this moment when we were talking. I go 95%. I never go 100%. They even said, if you're going to go 95, 96, go to 100. We're here and I missed to by go two, 100%. Two tenths of a second, right? You know, you shouldn't have a feeling that you're leaving here like you didn't push it all the way. That, yeah. is, no, that is on you. Especially since you bought the insurance. Right. I didn't leave here feeling like I could have done yeah. better. I felt like I did the best I could. And... Clearly you I did. did. You Clearly did. I you do deserve the, the respect. Congratulations. Thank you. You won. Well, wait. Um, wait. You beat me once. I beat you once. The final decision maker is the, the lap time, the fastest lap time. Yeah. So we don't know your lap time yet. Mine, I got my hands shaken multiple times. Well, I had people a guy said, tell me, great job. I had a guy tell me, and it's on camera, it's an honor to be in your presence. That's impressive. You should be proud of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Although I think he was being facetious. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Bailey, our driver, knows our, your time, and this is going to be the decision for the whole thing. Okay, yeah. Bailey, 1.17. 1 minute, 1 7 seconds. You were... 1 minute, one 28 minute, seconds? 28 seconds. So 10 seconds. So I'm 10 seconds ahead of you. You're 10 seconds. I have a bad heart and bad vision. I wouldn't be bragging about and it. And you, you had a hot car. <laughs> I'm kidding. You did win. I'm, I got bragging rights. So you beat me by 10 seconds in the track? Yeah. All right, can I let it go now? I'm going to tell you what. I wanted you to sweat a little bit. I booked a hotel at a casino weeks ago You're for tonight. Jerk. Weeks ago. <laughs> but last night when we were at dinner, when you found out you thought we were doing an all-nighter, yeah. I had a roll. It. it was too good to, not, to I, let go. I literally said to myself, I'm never going to make it. I'm <laughs> not going to make it. I'm going to sleep in a car and I'm going to be miserable on the flight home. Last thing before we go, special, special thank you to Spring Mountain Racetrack and Ron Fellows Driving School. I mean, this all it happened because of them. They, I am a better driver, I know my car yeah. because of them. The, the instructors were amazing. I had an absolute blast and like a once in a lifetime opportunity to hang out with my dad and learn how to yeah. race cars. I this think, is my dream vacation. Honestly, I Thanks think for watching. It. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up down below because that's a favor to us yeah. because it helps boost the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I put out so much Corvette content. Why have you not subscribed yet? Subscribe down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you hit the bell, there's a little bell down below. Ding. You hit the bell. You get notifications every time we make new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Adios. Adios.
Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate the support. That circle right in the center. If you click that, you can subscribe to our channel. Videos to the left and to the right are for best recommended for you. I produce Corvette videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later and thank you.